We are here at Derek Davidson heating, cooling, and duct cleaning specialist. We're gonna really dumb it down because I am one of those people that needs this kind of stuff dumbed down because I don't know anything about a heat pump. Apparently, this is a heat pump, Derek. It, yeah, it is a heat pump. And uh, tell me about it. What is it? What is it used for? Well, the, these ones are actually there's a rebate out right now. Okay. Right. So you get um, five thousand uh, dollars for the like if you're converting. Right? So you convert from a furnace to a heat pump. That's right. Is that what we're yeah. talking about? Yeah, okay. See, right. this yeah. one I mean yeah. really got to, you know, fish are okay. priceless for me. And, and then if you're an Enbridge customer, they give you an extra $1,500, right? Really? Yeah. So, and then what this thing is, is basically it's an air conditioner. I don't know if you have an air conditioner in your I house. I do, but it's outside. All right. So, um, well, this one goes outside too, but oh. it's a... <laughs> See? Fish yeah, are so, priceless for okay. me, Derek. Well, th this is basically an air conditioner. But in the winter time, it turns into it just reverses. Okay. Right. So because your furnace is inside. Yeah, your furnace is inside. But I mean, this this thing works in uh, reverse, right? So you don't actually use your furnace. You use your furnace as an emergency backup. Oh. Or you use this thing, maybe like um, I guess you're only using your furnace about uh, two months out of the year. Really? Yeah. What two months would that be? The coldest ones? Yeah, the coldest months where it drops below minus 15. Okay. Right? And this this will work. It'll provide heat for those other times where it's not minus 15. Really? Okay. So yeah. if I want the temperature in my house to be like a steady 21, 22 degrees, this would be sufficient. This, this will do it. And it's uh, it's really efficient. It runs off electricity. Okay. Right? And that's the reason why the, uh, the Canadian government, they say, hey, you know what? Use these things. They're really efficient. Mm -hmm. Right? And they'll save you a lot of money. Interesting, because I'm kind of in the market for a new furnace right now. People keep calling me being like, do you need a new furnace? Do you need a new furnace? How's that new furnace? You know, because yeah. mine's like 15 to 20 years old. Oh, that's right. You're raiding right the target there. Yeah, right? but it oh, yeah. scares me having yeah. to pay for it. But this looks yeah. like it would be an economical way to do it. Oh, yeah, for sure. And with the rebate, you know, you're, you're getting more money back. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. All right. So. Is there anything else special that you want to tell us about the heat pump? A heat pump? Uh, this one, it's American Standard, and right. we always give a 10-year parts and labor on it. Amazing. Right? So that's, that's uh, one good thing about it. Yeah. Right? I'd say there's lots of good things about it. Okay. Well, coming up, we are going to be talking about cooling. We're going to be talking about cleaning your ducts, and apparently I'm going to have to look through um, a duct bag after you've yeah, cleaned. Yeah, it's pretty gross, so we got gloves <laughs> for you here. Okay, good. Yeah. Hey, all of that is coming up on Morning Live. I love what it says on the back of the shirts, Derek. Derek with an A is That's here. That's me. To... I'm here to save the day. <laughs> right? Give me a cape. I'm all ready to go. Okay. We are in uh, their facilities here in um, uh, Caledonia. Caledonia. I almost That's forgot right. where yep. we were. Uh, and we're in their back room. And this is like their training room. So they actually have people come in here. You do the training yourself. So new people that are fresh out of school, maybe they're just a year into it. You've got all these broken furnaces and these guys are busy working away on how to fix them instead of bringing them to someone's house with you. That's right. So they learn here, right? They can make mistakes in here. Mm -hmm. right? And uh, yeah, quite honestly, they're, they're better when they, they, when they know more. Right? Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. So if like something is seriously wrong with my furnace, that's right. I call you, you come, and you know every make and model of every furnace out there? Well, we try to, right? <laughs> uh, but we do, have, we do have senior people that have been in the industry for 20 years, mm -hmm. right? So then they come out, we, we know what's going on with it, and we usually have options for you within 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Right? So for a homeowner right now, uh, we're into late, well, mid-fall, getting into late fall. What do people need to focus on right now when it comes to their furnace? Uh, they need to focus on like uh, if it turns on, right? So right. If you, the, the faster you can turn your furnace on and make sure it comes on. Yeah. Because most people, they had a problem last year and they just maybe think it's going to self-correct. Right. Right. But then you turn it. Can you just unplug it and plug it back well, in? That's, and... it. that's how computers work, right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So with this stuff, it's more technical. It's more that stuff. So you don't want to wait till the coldest day of the year to turn your furnace on. Right. Right. You want to make sure it's working. So just turn it on or just give us a call. We do maintenance. Okay. We can stop in and, you know, we can make sure it's uh, working properly. And what about filters? Filters are a big thing for me because I notice my filter looks just awful. Oh, does it? Yeah. Well, it's time to change it. I know, but see, so here's the filter, Luke. If you can spin around, this is the filter, right? That's right, yeah. So yeah. you just kind of pull it out. Oh, see, pull now your filter's there, yeah. all clean. Oh, this one's clean, right? And so then, maybe we, we can give you that one and take it home if you want. Well, mine has a little burn mark on the top. Oh, it is it? Should I be concerned about that? You might be, yeah. <laughs> if, it's, if it wasn't there when you put it in. 
<laughs> but I don't know if I put it in. Like, do you see what I mean? I am. People are probably going to make fun of me at home, but well, that's a, you I'm know. just. I'm so novice when it comes to this type of stuff. It does have a burn mark on it, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed that things are good until you guys can come and service it for me. Well, we do have filters that you can only change. Like, you can change once a year. Right. right? So then, you know, you can have us do it mm -hmm. when we do our maintenance. Mm -hmm. like, we, because we do maintenance uh, two times a year, right? Right, runs in the winter and then again. And, yeah, in the in the fall, right? Yeah, because you flip it over. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So we change the filters. We we do all that sort of stuff. We get filters on the truck, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. So uh, Derek with an A is here to save the day. Coming up, we talk about cleaning your ducks and how important that is, and all the gunk that comes with it. For now, I'm going to send things back inside the studio. Well, we are back at Derek Davidson, heating, cooling, and duct cleaning, and we just learned uh, how not to take care of your furnace, like don't have a filter in there that's clogged or has a little burn hole in it. I'm the most naive person when it comes to having a furnace or any heating, cooling, duct cleaning, uh, anything to do with that in your house, well, and that's, that's why, why I'm us. here. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> that's, that's why I'm here, and that is why we have Derek. We're talking uh, air purifying right now, air cleaning. That's right, so uh, air purifying air cleaning like we we've, we all know not to um say uh, covid anymore right that, that's all done <laughs> you guys are calling it the it, c right? word <laughs> yeah so what we have here is uh, examples of what, what we uh, provide to our customers right if they're looking for clean air mm -hmm. right you filter your water why don't you filter your air right air so here's purification this. exactly right yep. so we have this guy it's got uh, like uh hepa filters it's got a uv light uh, we're also an American Standard dealer, right? So we're one of the top shops. And what this guy is, is it's basically, it'll filter um, things to 0.3 microns. And, and I'll say, what is 0.3 microns? That's three times smaller than a human hair, right? That's, wow. what, this, that's what this guy will filter. It's um, basically what it is, is the only filter certified by the um, um, what, a asthma and allergy uh, foundation. So that's hospital grade. It's hospital one. grade, exactly, right? Wow. So you want this in your house if you're looking at pure air, mm -hmm. right? Um, we also have this little guy here, which is just a UV lamp. Oh, right? okay. And what that guy does is basically it... Um, Where do you put that? Uh, you put that in the furnace, like the okay. above like the coil. Yep. Because if you're thinking like in the summertime, it's really dark and damp. Mm -hmm. So what happens in your system, in any system that's dark and damp, it molds, molds yeah. grows, right? Of course. So basically this brings the sunlight oh. into the inside of the uh, furnace, right? And kills all the mold inside. That's such a smart yeah. idea. It's amazing that nobody thought of that, you know, 30 years ago. Well, they have. It's just, you know, we're providing <laughs> just the... Just trendy. We're providing the options <laughs> to people now, right? Yeah, where exactly, it hasn't yeah. been. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Exactly. Now, what about those, like, stand-up air, you know, filters and those types of things? Do they work as efficiently as something like this? Well, this... Uh, they, they do work, mm -hmm. but these things are connected to the furnace system, right? Right. So all the air passes through them all the time. Right. So you're constantly filtering your inside breathing air, right? Whereas those little stand-up ones kind of do one room. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. They it, just do right? a smaller so space. So this is a, a better investment. Yeah. Like if you wanted those in every room, sure, you, you do that, right? But if you wanted to filter your entire system mm -hmm. all at once and you know it's working all the time, because even this guy, he's got a, uh, a light. So it starts off green, mm -hmm. right? And then when, when it's get more plugged, it turns red. Okay. Right? So and you know you to, to call us in and, or you can uh, wash it or whatever, right? Oh, is that yeah. simple? Oh, okay. exactly it. All right. Well, coming up, we're going to see why you do need one of these put on your furnace. We're going to check out how gunky the duct uh, can be in your home. <laughs> Lots more coming up. Don't go anywhere. White glove service. It's time to see what's in our ducts. Now, there could be lots of things, right? There could be anything, really. Really? Anything? There's nothing moving because the bag's still... still. Oh, so yeah. they're like critters and stuff <laughs> there might in be. there? I don't know. Ugh. Okay, yeah. let's see. Let's open okay, it up. Okay, so we're just opening up this. This is uh, from a recent install or a recent uh, duct cleaning we did. Why is right? it so important to clean your ducts? Well, because would you want to breathe in that air? Well, no, right? I if guess not. If this is what's in your duct, and that's what I say about the uh, air filter, right? This is actually... Oh, goodness. But I mean... Oh. If you want, that's what I mean. Some people say, why do duct cleaning? But this is why you do duct cleaning, right? Like, I wouldn't want to breathe in all this stuff. Like, you're wearing a mask there. And it's just, yeah, anyways, it just keeps coming, right? Oh, my god! But I mean, this is actually in a duct. Like, we pulled this out. So, this is the why, right? Ew. What's the weirdest thing you've ever found? Or the grossest um, thing you ever found? Well, sometimes we, we found, like, things that fell in there, like... 
maybe I don't want to say maybe old pets, but um, no! yeah, I don't, yeah, it, it's no! just something, like right? Like a mouse or something, like a yeah, gerbil? something, right? Yeah, but I mean, whatever's whatever's in your house and fall it can get into the duct. I feel like these can. people have animals. Yeah. So, anyways, it's it's really gross, but it's so it looks like kind of like a vacuum bag. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. But this is actually in your ductwork system. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Where does it sit? Because when you look down, you're, you know, great. You don't see anything Yeah, it's just actually uh, in your actual trunk line, right? Mm -hmm. So it sits in there, right? And it's so heavy and it just collects and collects and collects. So this is a house that hadn't had a duct cleaning in like 25 years, right? Well, I was going to, that was yeah. my next question. How often should you clean your ducts? Yeah, uh, clean your ducts every, um, every three years. Three years. Just to keep the stuff not collecting, right? And when's the best time to do it? Is there a better time, like a season? Like do it any, in the any time. Like well, cleaning kind of thing? Well, or? our duct cleaning, we leave, leave all your doors closed, right? So we don't let the heat in air, or cold air out or anything okay. like that. So we can we can do it pretty much uh, 365 days a year. Right. right? But it's it, whenever you want it done, right? It's whenever you're like, okay, yeah, yeah. it's time to breathe some good air. Exactly it. Wow, and this is like... How big was the house that this came from? Well, this is probably like a 2,000 square foot house, right? So just an average house that this came out of. Yeah. Wow. But it, and that's what I mean. Like, we won't call you. We're not that company that's on the end of the right. phone that's always calling you. Yeah. You call us. If, if you have any questions on pricing, all our pricing is on our website. Okay. Right? So that's it, right? Okay. If you want to call us or uh, look on the website or even yeah. book from the website, you can. You can. Okay, yeah. what is your website? Uh, it's uh, Derek Davidson, uh, mechanical.ca. All right, well, there you go. If you want your furnace upgraded to a heat pump, if you want to learn more about the technicians that come to your home, if you want to get your ducts cleaned, that's where you need to go. Thanks so much for having us. We've learned a lot. Okay, sure. Yeah, I hope it's been helpful. <laughs>